It's a pleasure to chair this uh, last panel of the day. Uh, I guess it's not going to be easy to do it in 40 minutes since we represent universities and everybody knows that professors like to talk. But we'll do our best. I look around and in spite of these lights, I still see a lot of white hair around. So I had this impression that we we're talking about innovation instead of doing innovation. Um, you move to a chamber of commerce in Boston or Dallas or San Francisco, you look around and you see all these kids that, whose mother is waiting outside because uh, when they do the big business, they uh, get advice of uh, what to wear. So I hope that uh, Trento indeed uh, will, uh, will live up to its promise and play a, an important role in uh, this change that we are all planning. And maybe next year, five years, either people here will get all much younger or there will be many more younger people. And then we can say innovation has worked. So we have this panel of uh, educators, very distinguished professors, uh, uh, Professor Francesco Bertrame, who is the director of ICT uh, department at CNA. Um, uh, uh, Professor Giuseppe Lippari uh, from, uh, this, from uh, sorry, Santa Anna, Pisa. Uh, Professor Piero Fraternali, Politecnico di Milano. Francesco Profumo, director of Politecnico of Torino. And Professor Davide San Giorgi from University of Bologna. I will open uh, and I'll try to make it very, very short also because we are uh, a little bit uh, behind uh, schedule. But just to set the stage, there's two questions that I've been asking myself while listening to these talks. And uh, one basically is, uh, I think, clear why Trento? And uh, since I was asked to chair this panel, I'm asking myself from the education point of view, why Trento? And secondly, since we here Trento are part of the ICT kick, why is ICT so important for us? Why did we choose ICT? Well, I hope that our, our panel will help us answer uh, some of these questions, but I'd like to at least try to, to open this with, uh, with some thoughts. First, uh, not being from Trento, but kind of being a tolerated guest here for several years, uh, when I came first and had a discussion with the province and we talked about maybe opening a research center that's actually not just going to produce papers and that does not mean the other centers here are not doing an excellent job and they are. But at that time, let's say what I was used to is that a research center in Italy is a research center doing research and that's where it ends. So we said, can we have a research center that's going to focus on experimentation and the use of experimentation for innovation? And to my great surprise, the administration said, yes, let's try it. We haven't done it, but it may be good for the whole province. Now we have a test bed uh, here in Trento that uh, is nationally acclaimed. And we have a web-based innovation community in the Alliance that's basically known around the world because we tried something different. Secondly, when I came here, I was told, you know, it's, it's good that there is a center, there is also university, there's FBK, but you know what we really have here is an ecosystem. And when Trento, with such a small reality, became part of such a distinguished group of nodes in, an, in, in a kick, I said, hey, this works, it's unique. And it's unique not just in Italy, this is quite unique in Europe. So this is why I believe Trento may be a, a, a good and, and helpful partner in making this happen and bringing some real change to Europe, which we definitely need. Secondly, why, why, we, why, why are we talking about ICT? Why did we join ICT? Why this, this province, as the governor said, decided to put emphasis on ICT? Actually, ICT can be looked at in two ways. One, it certainly is the driver for the upcoming social changes. There's hardly any discipline that's not affected by ICT. Most of the business opportunities, according to various studies, are enabled by ICT. But the interesting thing is that ICT also has another role, and that is being the vehicle for the changes that ICT is bringing. Traditional university teaching and research 
are facing serious challenges. Uh, we have social networks. We have many new ways of disseminating information. Just about two weeks ago, we had the European Alliance for Innovation meeting here with some 200 organizations representing probably over one million people that are receiving information with no need for a formal university. In the United States, there's a number of new universities uh, springing up that uh, totally forego the conventional uh, uh, university role, including the typical university financing. So I believe that this panel is important for these two reasons. One, because we want to see many more young people among us that have tried to build a company, that have a new mindset, that are sort of growing up or being educated in an environment where trying to set up a company and failing is a mark of honor. And next time they go to the VC, they say, well, yeah, we understand. Now you know how not to do it. Maybe this time you can try again. We know this is not yet the situation in Europe, certainly not in Italy. Universities are not only challenged, but there are also major opportunities for them. We need universities, first of all, to provide the basic ICT education. Uh, 25, 30 years ago, Fortran, Pascal, for those of you remember, was being introduced to universities for medical students, for people in sociology, and the students would be coming back saying, why do I have to spend time on this? Today, we are much, much more advanced. Today, according to one study, over 50% of the curriculum of, the medic of medical schools is going to be on computers and IT technology. So universities have an opportunity, but they have to reinvent itself, themselves. Now, somebody here mentioned today that innovation is local, always, and I agree with that statement. We are here in Trento, or if you wish, we are in Italy, and in order to help and work with all our good friends across Europe, first of all, we have to be strong here. So I'm very happy that uh, we have uh, these distinguished representatives from some of the best schools in Italy. I certainly hope that uh, as it, Italy was the cradle of uh, university education in uh, the Western world, it will now recapture the glory. And I hope that maybe it will be traced back to this panel. Thank you. I'd like to open the floor.